sit cross your legs and the mm. lining wouldn't right? show at the piece. <laughs> right. right now the lining will show because mm -hmm. all this goodness that mm. you have here. <laughs> right. Hello everyone, we are here in College Park, Georgia with Simply Greta at Pop Pop Shopless. Pop Shopless. Yes. I promise I practice this name over and over again, but Pop Shopless. And it's fabulous. When I was an itty bitty girl, my mom only always wanted a little girl. She only shopped at boutiques for me. So mm -hmm. this is lovely for me. The memory is something. She loves scarves, she loves gloves and all things pretty and girly so this is beautiful for me so how long have you been here um simply greta at pop shopless i have just moved from new york to atlanta two years ago i've been in this building about seven months what we're doing here is a collaborated effort it's a global experience of fineries of the culture of fashion of style you know and things that should not be forgotten so did you always know you wanted to have your own shop? I've had shops in New York. Okay. Yes, I, uh, I've had Simply Greta in New York in Brooklyn. And then I was uh, part of a collaborated effort in Harlem called the Brownstone. So, the Brownstone is just what it is. The Brownstone is a beautiful brownstone in Harlem on 5th and 125th. And in there, we did similar things on different levels. Mm -hmm. And we had our personal lines. So we're simply Greta at the Brownstone, Princess Line, she's with my partner there, mm -hmm. Majestic Images at the Brownstone. And then we offered other individual space at the Brownstone, mm -hmm. including a tea shop on the third floor. Well, you know, awesome. yeah. So it was another shopping destination of beauty and inspiration and things like that. So I did that for more than 10 years and then another number of years in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And then I decided I needed a change and I came to Atlanta not knowing what that change was except God led the way. Wow, that is yeah. such, that's a lot to give up. Yeah. New York is so fabulous. For me, accessories sometimes is the outfit. Mm -hmm. You can just have the most boldest accessories and a basic mm -hmm. black or solid mm -hmm. color dress. This table here, we have the Aklu collection. We have Mike, Embellish by Mike. We have Keenan Leatherworks from Dallas, Texas. You know, so all of these are hand painted uh, pieces. They also come in singles as well as the pairs. So, what would you say inspires you and inspires the store and maybe your style? Like you, when I was a little girl, mm. my mother made everything for me. Mm. And her story goes like this. She was the most beautiful woman in our community of Trinidad and Tobago, and the village was called Maluga. As she made dresses and outfits for women in the community, bridal wear and so on, I always got a small dress or something from mm -hmm. remnants of fabric. So I've always had pretty clothing, and she always tells me the story of the type of dresses she made for me with the remnants of fabric that the bride may have left behind and so on. And I followed a lot of the weddings as a flower girl, mm -hmm. bridesmaid, because, you know, mommy did the dress, and I came as part of that package. Mm -hmm. You know, so I always had that feeling of girl and feeling of grace mm -hmm. and elegance, you know, just coming from that. Right. It's just perfect. It's in, in alignment with my inheritance from my mom. Right. You know? You're her own little doll. She <laughs> just just you yeah. My oh, brother boy. had shirt and pants and yeah. I had dresses. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So that's a beautiful story. So it's like this, your space, and, and even you, is just rich in history yep. and, and culture. Yep. It's such a, such a mixture. And as I was walking around the store, there's so many different items, and you told me there's so many different 
designers. Yeah. You you know some of them personally? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've known some of them for a very long time in this journey of being a stylist and a conceptualist. I conceptualize fashion style based on my fellow comrades. You know, so this is two different artists coming together. Miss Joyce from Brown Paper Bag on Wild, Ooh. and then the skirt is a Simply Greta piece, which is my line. You know, so there's a marriage here, there's a story here, and the next piece is the Batu collection. And I have some friends here from 20, 20 years ago coming to Atlanta. I have, yeah, I have um, some really serious customers that follow, that really keeps me really really mm -hmm. in the business i'm really uh, really grateful for their support at all times they find me and it's a beautiful thing you know so thank you atlanta for yeah. just you know being part of the simply greta world yeah. appreciate it yeah. what's the most rewarding part about owning your own store would you say yeah. like freedom you get to travel freedom. a lot and being able to things. set a standard yeah okay. being able to set a standard and really always wear my brand mm. so if you're cultivating your brand know that the outcome right. will always be mm. wonderful always. if you're good with that then that's your brand mm. stand in your purpose of your brand you know it's always a wonderful thing and it makes it easy right because i'm not trying to go into the window of a store and said i want that i gotta have that right. i'm adding to that with some of the things that i felt good about right. sacred about and the things that my mother has taught me you know, so this shop represents that for me. And my fellow comrades bring that here so I have something to work with. If you oh, want yeah. to be different and stand out, mm -hmm. Simply Greta at Pop Shopolis mm. is the place to be. I love this piece here. This piece is Simply Greta. Ah, this, should have known. Yeah, this is my item here. I love it. There we go. And it's a wrap Oh yeah. yeah. I love wrapper. Yeah, wrap, <laughs> wrap works. Wrap works. works. Yes. It does. And then the skirt is easy, easy mm. to wear day into evening. Mm -hmm. Just have to dress that up, and you're good to go. There is a wonderful imagery throughout the store for sure. Would you say you have a motto or a a, a, a saying, um, inspirational quote, or something that you live by? Wow. Simply Red is always evolving in style. Mm -hmm. I'm a thought leader of style, mm. so that's who I am. Simply rather the thought leader of style. I, I, I think outside the box. Mm -hmm. I allow you to come in and just don't hold it up. Right. Try it on, because mm -hmm. holding it up only gets but this far into who you are. Right. I tend to always go a little bit different outside the box and bring something that's necessary, mm -hmm. because we have to cultivate this girl mm -hmm. that lives in here that doesn't right. always get a chance right. to really show up and right. show out, except with what the world says right. it should be. Right. You have your Trendy, own personality. Yeah. Go, yeah. go find it. Mm -hmm. Thrift shopping is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Imagine today. So 16, 18 hips, and the, the fabric is not the same like it used to be right. back then. Yep. You know, right. you, had, you had good fabric, right. and you had serious fabric. Mm -hmm. You could sit cross your legs and the mm -hmm. lining wouldn't right. show in the piece. <laughs> right. right now the lining will show because mm -hmm. all this goodness that mm -hmm. you have here, <laughs> right. you know, tend to make mm -hmm. it move around a little bit so you don't always get to see the fullness of the dress. Mm -hmm. You are, you know, so yesterday is forever yeah. the place to be. You've always got to reach, reach back. Mm -hmm. Be the Sankofa girl mm -hmm. of fashion. Because sure. we have so much trend now, you can just go out and buy stuff all mm -hmm. the time because it's sort of microwavable. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes and goes in an instant. And I love all the different accessories. My um, grandmother always said, as long as you have her face done, you have your know, hat on, some gloves, some shoes, you can put anything in between, you know, have your nice bag, and you definitely pay attention to every detail. Yeah. What would you say to someone that aspires to own their own boutique? It's not a game. It is serious. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes a lot of wear and tear in the mind mm -hmm. you know what are you trying to say who are you dressing mm -hmm. who are you cultivating who are you inspiring what's the story mm -hmm. i'm a fashion storyteller mm -hmm. i tell a story with everything that i wear so what's your story mm -hmm. what's the brand of your story mm -hmm. you know so if you're going to have a store it could be one rack in that store but the story is phenomenal right. so the struggle is in sometimes finding good help 
Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Finding honest help. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> True. You know, so you have to be able to do it alone. Right. Until that right person comes through. My assistant, Ashley, I met her here mm-hmm. in Atlanta. So it's she helps business. me raise the bar, mm-hmm. the tech side of things, mm-hmm. and so on. You know, I trust her with my business. Um, and we have to have all of that. Mm-hmm. You know, I have, to, I have to be able to leave out and know that it's, it's going to be okay mm-hmm. at this time in my life. Mm-hmm. You know, so I thank Ashley every day for what she does, what she brings to the table, and to find her so easily and effortlessly. My brother is moving here from Philly and he's an artist. So I cannot wait to bring him in here. He is just gonna lose his mind. Yeah, thank you. And I just thank love you. how perceptive you are. And of course you are a grown woman, but this is black girl magic. Yeah, thank and you. this is gonna inspire so many people, but yeah. definitely young ladies. Yeah. Um, it just shows how you have to be strong. You have to be strong to be in this business. You can't be timid, yeah. you know, yeah. and you have to, to own your birthright and yeah. to, to yeah. own you know, bring what you love to the world. Absolutely. And I Absolutely. just think it's fabulous. And I'm ready to shop. Yes, ma'am. So I'm I am about to shop. Yeah. Um, but it was wonderful meeting you, Absolutely. wonderful talking to you. Thank you. Yeah, and Thank happy you. holidays. Thank you so yeah. much. What an honor. What yeah. an honor. Stand out. Don't fit in. You know, just always try to stand out in some kind of special way, you know, that will set a standard for others to follow. And find a brand that speaks your name. Thank you.